Okay, we're back. I'm Carol Phillips, yoga teacher and yoga therapist, and we're continuing our work with balance. And for this particular practice, you'll need your beam on the floor and uh, a dowel, or this is the handle from a broomstick that I've unscrewed, just to give you a, a little more stability. So the last video, we kind of just did a fun walking, walking the plank balance. And this is also going to, this practice will uh, encourage balance as well as strength around the hips and pelvis. So we'll begin by stepping one foot up onto the beam and holding the dowel in the same hand as the leg that's up on the beam. The other foot, you'll just come up onto the ball of the foot, leveling your pelvis. And we'll do, we, we want to keep that nice tall posture um, right from the foot, through the leg, through the pelvis, up through the spine, the neck, the crown of the head, reaching up, gaze is forward again, not down. And we'll begin to balance on that standing leg and flex the foot um, of the, the foot that's off the ground. And then keeping the body still, the pelvis still, we'll begin to reach that standing leg forward, nice and slow and in control, and then drop it side by side with the other leg. Watch your breathing here. You might want to inhale up, exhale down, nice calm breathing. We'll do this about five times. Keep that leg nice and straight by reaching out through the heel prevents you from bending the knee so that you're working just at the hip. After five, we'll begin to take the leg out to the side. So five lifts here. Nice, slow up, slow down, in control. Feel free to put as little weight on the dowel as you can. You can even lift it off the floor if you're feeling very balanced. Try not to let the body lean to one side. Keep the body nice and tall and still. And then the next movement is taking the leg behind you. This is a smaller movement. The hip can only go about 11 degrees into extension. So body stays still, pelvis stays still. Use your glutes, use those bum muscles to lift that leg back. You'll start to be feeling your standing leg, I'm sure, right now. And after five of those, we'll take the leg back out to the side, bring it across the front, out to the side, and across the back. Side, front, side, and back. Side, front, side, and back. Two more of those. Standing leg, working really hard. And then come back to center. Take a little break if you need it. I need it. We're gonna move into hip hikes. So the, the hips are level, pelvis is level, and we'll raise that standing leg, pelvis side up and lower, up and lower, up and lower, up, and lower. And just so you can see what I'm doing from this angle, up and lower, up and lower, up and lower. Okay, and then step off your beam and notice what you feel. So I can feel my standing leg has worked really hard. By taking just a few moments to stand and breathe in mountain pose, we allow the body just to come back into balance, to rest, to prepare for the other side. Okay, so we'll switch hands with the um, dowel. We'll come onto the beam with the opposite leg. Find that focus point in front of you. Find your nice tall posture. And although we're using the dowel for balance, 
we're trying to use it as little as we can. Okay, so flexing the foot that's off the ground to keep the leg nice and straight. Begin to lift it forward and down. Nice and controlled. Breathing is easy. Gaze is forward. Body stays nice and still. We'll do five of those. Good. And we'll take it out to the side. Doesn't really matter how high that leg goes. Try and keep it in control. Keep the torso still, the pelvis still. One more. Good. And now the hip extension. So small movement. Glutes are working to bring that leg bone back behind you. Only about 11 degrees. Remember not to tilt the pelvis, not to tilt the whole body forward. That's a different movement. Okay, and then we'll go leg out to the side, swing it with control across the front, out to the side, swing it with control across the back, side, front, side, back. And continuing, focus is still forward, standing leg is working really hard. Only using the dowel as much as you need, maybe a lot. <laughs> okay, and then come back to center. And then five hip heights, one, two, three, four, five. Woo. And then come off. Uh, <laughs> maybe wiggle out a little bit. Ah, feels good to get back to two feet on the floor. Just take a moment again, just to give your body a chance to rest and come back into balance. And then I'll show you just a couple more movements that you can do. The possibilities are really endless. So any one-legged balancing posture that we do in yoga, you can use the beam for. For example, warrior three. We step up onto the beam. We have our dowel, or you cannot use your dowel. You take the leg behind you. Now here, we're pivoting over the standing leg, keeping our head, spine, hips, leg kind of all in one line as we hinge over that standing leg. Pressing out through the heel of that raised leg helps to keep that back leg straight. So breathing, balancing, deciding if you'd like to try the dowel off the ground, but having it there. Good, coming back up with control and down. Let's try the other side. So feeling your heel across the ball of the foot, the toes, finding that nice length in the body. Then flexing the foot of the leg you're raising off of the floor. And very slowly minding your breathing, nice controlled breathing, Begin to hinge forward over that standing leg. Doesn't matter how low you go. Just try and maintain your balance. Lifting that back heel. Deciding whether you need the dowel. You can balance a little bit without it. Good, and then slowly and with control, come back up. Awesome. And one more. I'm gonna try not to use my dowel for this one. We'll see how it goes. So we come up onto the beam again, find our focus point, and then just lift the opposite thigh parallel to the floor. And it can be 
just as simple as this or as hard as this. And then you can reach your opposite hand over, other hand back. Come into a little bit of a twist. Perhaps turn your gaze a little bit as you twist. Good, come back to center and down. And to maintain your balance with both sides of the body, we'll try that on both legs. Coming up. And so feel free to adjust. The placement of your standing foot on the beam is really important. Do you want the center of your heel, the center of the ball of the foot across the beam? And raise your other leg to parallel, just staying here. Maybe beginning to turn your torso towards that raised leg. Hand comes to the outside of the thigh. Gaze slightly shifts. Nice, tall body, long, steady breaths. Smile, have fun. Good, come back. And foot comes down. So I've got a few more we could do, but uh, maybe I'll save that for another video, give you a chance to practice these. And if you've discovered some balance poses that you like to do on the beam, I'd love to hear from you. So I'll see you in the next video.